Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going over 10 of the highest paying jobs that don't require you to go to college. I used to think that college was the only way to get a job, but that's only in some specific industries. You can absolutely crush it not going to college and doing any of these jobs on this list. So let's get started. First up is becoming an owner operator truck driver. If you want to own and operate your own carrier vehicle, then being an owner operating truck driver could be a great and high paying job. Now, like seriously, Zip Recruiter shows that the average owner operated truck driver makes almost $200,000 per year. Now, driving long hours is expected and you'll have to have immense concentration and focus. If your energy levels are better during the night, then you can set your hours for the nighttime. Or on the other hand, if you are more awake during the morning hours, then driving in the morning might be your best fit. This is actually a pretty entrepreneurial job. You're the sole decision maker on which jobs to take and you oversee the pickup and transfer opportunities since you own the truck. This job's primary duties entail loading and unloading the truck and delivering items according to your contract. And depending on your contract, some jobs might be a no touch freight type of job where you only deliver goods from point A to point B. Since you are the carrier owner, you must also handle any upkeep and maintenance on the vehicle. Owner operator truck drivers normally will require a high school diploma. And like I mentioned before, this profession pays a hefty $199,616 per year. All right, second up on my list is becoming a plumber. Getting paid to repair and fix heating systems and install sanitation units can be extremely rewarding. To some individuals, attending a trade school and starting to work right away is a better option financially compared to attending a four-year institution with no income. This was the case for me. Like I literally could not find any work with my degree after not getting into med school. And probably I should have gone to a trade school instead. Individuals first have to complete trade school, which is only one to two years at the most, or you can do a paid apprenticeship lasting two to five years and learn that way. Next is to get your foot in the door. You can get experience with a company for two to three years and then open up your own plumbing company, which can be massively lucrative. I know because man, hiring a plumber is extremely expensive. If you have an eye for detail, solve problems quickly and like working independently, then plumbing is the way to go. Possessing immense technical skills is also really important for this job. Now the median plumber salary is about $57,000, but it really depends who you work for. Experienced plumbers with years and years of experience under the belt can earn upwards of $200,000 per year if they own their own business. Overall, I think that this is such a great and exciting trade skill to have with massive income potential by running your own business. Third on my list is becoming a photographer. And I've been doing photography for over 13 years and this is one of the best paying jobs if you're able to set it up correctly and build up a good client base. Photography is a skill that is quite technical and you know only people that are experienced can create great photos. Anyone can take a photo, but not everyone can get a beautiful shot. I recommend becoming a portrait photographer because that's where a lot of the money is. People love getting their photos taken and they will pay a lot of money for it. So I started out by doing free test shoots, but I worked my way to charging between two to $300 Per hour doing gigs and you guys that's not even a lot if you're really talented wedding photography is an amazing business to get into top wedding photographers command five to ten thousand dollars or more per wedding and all it takes is getting your first camera practicing and practicing and just building up your portfolio clients will slowly find you and word of mouth will become how you generate a ton of new leads if you like creating art then photography is a great industry to get into that you can start doing as early as high school or even younger there's no need to get a photography degree as just doing more and more shoots building your style building up a reputation that stuff will ultimately give you success in this field all right fourth on my list is becoming a police officer helping and protecting the greater good is a fantastic feeling and police officers are society's shields for violence and anarchy. I know right now there is a lot of drama involving police officers, but there's no denying that this is a great job that does not require a college degree. To start, becoming a police officer only requires a high school diploma. Then potential officers must complete a physical fitness test demonstrating their strength and stamina, which are critical components of this job. After the physical fitness test and other requirements, individuals will undergo a rigorous training at police academy. During that time at the academy, there will be both field training and in-service training. After these two pieces of instruction, officers will be sworn in under oath. Now to succeed in this career, you must have assertiveness, 
high maturity, exceptional interpersonal skills, and practical communication skills. It's definitely a stressful job and it can also be dangerous at times, but the pension plans are very generous and police officers that I know love their job. And another thing to add is that you get awesome insurance benefits. Police officers start out making on average $50,000 depending on the state. States like California, New Jersey, and Washington have the highest mean salaries at around seventy dollars to $100,000. If you love the thought of protecting the community and serving others, then becoming a police officer is an ideal fit. Okay, number five on my list is becoming a real estate agent. In my opinion, this is one of the best side hustles and careers that's out there. And I've been doing it for over three years. The pay can be great, it's really uncapped, and you can build a team to make even more money. If you wanna help people buy or sell homes and you love real estate, then becoming a real estate agent is the route to take. Being a go-getter and having a knack for sales is extremely important in this industry, but it can definitely be learned. Now, the best part about becoming a real estate agent is that you don't need to have a degree. You just need to be 18 years old and be able to hustle hard in this industry to get clients. First, you must take some type of real estate course before getting licensed and each state differs when it comes to the real estate licensing. I recommend checking out Real Estate Express as they have courses in almost all the states and is the most affordable program that I've found and used personally for both my salesperson and broker exams. Once you get your license, you have to hang it with a brokerage. Beyond that, it's a very independent job and you only get paid commissions when a deal closes. The average salary of a real estate agent is around $70,000 depending on where you are located. Agents who operate in big cities get more significant commissions than an agent working in a more rural or suburban area. For example, the average commission here in California is 2.5%. So if you sell a million dollar house, which is actually quite normal here, that is gonna make you $25,000. These are some big, big checks, but there is a lot of competition, but still so much opportunity to be successful. You can work as a real estate agent for a few years, then open up your own brokerage later on and hire agents which is what I do right now. Okay, six on my list is becoming a mortgage loan originator. If you love the real estate market, but you want to help buyers in a different way, this is one of the best jobs in my opinion. I've been doing this for actually longer than real estate and it's an amazing field to be in. You don't have to go out and show people homes. In fact, you can make all your money at home or at the office. So what an MLO does is they guide mortgage loan applicants through the mortgage process from preparing the loan all the way to closing. You can work for a company that actually funds loans or you can work for a mortgage brokerage, which is sort of like a middleman. These mortgage brokerages have lots of different lenders that they work with and you'll basically find the best mortgage program for a client given their information. You have to be pretty good at math and these individuals have to calculate rates and prices as well as maintain relationships with customers. Having a blend of both people and technical skills is highly desirable in this profession. Mortgage loan originators receive on-the-job training once hired and it's important to continually learn as the mortgage game changes all the time. Now, the salary for a mortgage loan originator is about $153,961 in the US. That doesn't even include commission, which can be in the range of ten to $30,000. Or if you're only commission-based, then the earnings are very similar and my boss literally makes millions of dollars per year doing mortgages. It's very scalable too, as you can hire a processor who helps you do all the paperwork and you just focus on getting the business. And in terms of how much commission you get per deal, most of the places you'll get one to 2% of the loan amount. So yes, also some very significant checks in this industry. Okay, number seven on my list is becoming an insurance sales agent. And basically what you're doing here is you're helping people choose policies that fit their needs. From life, car, uh, health insurance, you can find what you're passionate about and learn everything about that product. And whatever product you sell depends on the company that you're working for. But yeah, this profession requires you to sell financial products to individuals or businesses that will make you and them money. And in doing so, you will generally receive some type of commission. Insurance sales agents can earn anywhere between $23,000 to $73,000 depending on the compensation packages. Some companies will have a base starting salary plus commission and other companies have straight commission only. This is yet again another uncapped income job that doesn't require a college degree. You just need to know the products that you're selling, truly believe in them, and be a good salesperson. Okay, number eight on my list is becoming a mechanic. And we've all had to deal with mechanics at some point. 
Yes, they are quite expensive because this is a highly technical skill, but that also means you can make a lot of money in this industry. Auto mechanics perform inspections, maintenance, and repairs to ensure that cars are safe to drive for the driver, the passengers, as well as other people on the road and the environment. The majority of auto technicians work in auto repair shops and auto dealerships, but there is room to build your own business in the future. As far as schooling, some places will want to see some type of formal training, but other places will just need you to be really good at what you do. Obviously, a regular person can't just all of a sudden become a mechanic in a day. It takes a lot of experience, learning, and practice. Building good relationships with clients is also very, very important for this job. Salaries for mechanics average about $41,000 in the US, but if you want to be an entrepreneur and open up your own shop, this could be extremely profitable and you can make way more money than that. So yeah, if you love cars, if you love fixing cars and working on cars, then becoming a mechanic could be a great thing to get into. Okay, number nine on my list is going into IT. Basically what this means is you're gonna be diagnosing computer problems, installing software, performing tests and maintenance, and even teaching people how to use programs. A lot of people think that you need a degree in computer science or information technology to get started in the IT field, but that's just not the case. There are a ton of jobs within this field that don't require a degree. For example, web developers can self-teach themselves all the knowledge that they need. From boot camps to thousands of online courses, education for these jobs is everywhere, and that means pretty much anyone can learn. Also, demand for IT is always growing. Sure, some places will only hire people with a four-year degree, but many places don't actually require this. If you want to live a good lifestyle while keeping yourself challenged each day and learning on the job, then this could be a great industry for you to get into. The starting salary can vary by the position, but most IT jobs will start anywhere from $60,000 and up. It's just a really in-demand job that is stable, safe, and pays quite well. And finally on my list, number 10 is becoming an entrepreneur. Now, I'm definitely biased, but being an entrepreneur is one of the most fulfilling jobs for any individual. And to me, it means freedom. You do not need a degree and you just need to work very, very hard and be ready for the challenges ahead. Having a creative mindset and a strong work ethic will get you very far if you choose this route. And guys, the options are limitless. From creating an online business to starting your own firm, you can set your rates and hours and get paid as much as you want. But yeah, don't go into it for the money. The money might take a while to see depending on what business you're starting. But really, you can turn any passion into a business. For example, if you love teaching people, then you could perhaps start a tutoring company or a YouTube channel. If you're really interested in the college admissions process, then you could start a college consulting firm to help people get into their dream schools. I've started dozens of businesses and most of them have actually failed, but now I have some that are doing pretty well and I love my lifestyle. If you're an entrepreneur at heart, then you'll know it. You won't ever be fully fulfilled working for someone else or putting your own vision on the back burner. And regarding the pay, you know, it's really unlimited, but you have entrepreneurs making zero money to making millions of dollars per year. But if you're bound to be a successful entrepreneur, you will become very wealthy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to become an entrepreneur and run your own six-figure YouTube channel like me, check out my six figure YouTube Academy. I teach you everything I did to build this channel to making $300,000 per year. So yeah, I'll include a link below. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this. I make a ton of content about personal finance, investing and entrepreneurship. Thank you guys so much again for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.